Well, hello and welcome. My name is Wayne, aka Wayne the Whip, and I've logged into Worm Online uh, for the first time in a few months now. I've not played for about three months, I think. Uh, I'm on the Xanadu server, and I wanted to log in in order to get the uh, the year-end gift that Code Club AB always offers to premium members. So if you don't know about this, this is pretty easy. If you have a premium account, then um, you can go to the nearest starter town, and there you will find Santa. And if you speak to him, then you'll have an opportunity to get a gift. And this year they did something that I was not expecting, but not only do you get this year's gift, but you also will receive a random gift from apparently any of the previous years as well. And let me see, are we able to see? I'm not in a good spot. Let me go to a good spot so I can show you the Santa indicator. Yes, I have quite a few trees down here. I haven't played in a while and these were obstructing my view so I chopped them down. I should clean them up, but I'm probably not going to, to bother. I do have quite a few dead animals, animals here too, including this octopus. And a spider, and let me see, a lion, and a lava spider, and there's a hell scorpion up here. Uh, lots of stuff, and these were all on my deed, so that means they spawned nearby and then wandered in. I think I've lost some livestock over here. I'm pretty sure that I had a, a couple of black sheep over here, but they were not being cared for, so they died. And I believe these two are being cared for, which explains why they are still alive. I think if I go up here, we'll be able to see the Santa indicator, although it's easier to see at night. There's the um, Hell Scorpion. All of my horses are still here because they were all being cared for. And I did lose a cow, though. I still have a couple of bulls. One is the offspring of the other. And as you can see, it was kind of messy. There were a lot of bushes growing in here. And uh, unless it's been changed, the bushes interfere with the grass. And so it is not registered as a tile that the horses can eat from. So I chopped all those down. Let me run up here. I think we'll be able to see it from up here. It's like over here somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh, there's another spider there. That's a big one. Let me tur turn on my UI. A greenish, huh? Okay, oh, there it is. You can see the Santa indicator right there. So if you see sort of these little bubble-like lights up in the air, then you know Santa is there. And um, let me just make sure that greenish hasn't noticed me. And so if I pull up the map here, I'm looking in the direction of Linton. This is my home or my deed here on Xanadu. So that's the nearest location. So all you do is run there and you talk to Santa. Uh, you can also craft a Christmas tree and get the gift using that method as well. I might craft one just for the fun of it. I do have a premium malt here. He's not currently premium. But I'm trying to decide if I want to use him to get the gift again. As a matter of fact, of all the years, this is probably the best year to grab gifts with your alt, since you not only get this year's gift, but also a random previous year's gift. Maybe I'll get a different one. I ended up getting last year's gift, which is the um, festival bedroll. And I do have a bedroll. And why isn't, oh, of course, because I'm on Xanadu and there's a bit of lag on Xanadu. But you know what? I think I want to mention something before I grab this gift. When I came back, it was my intention to grab the gift with my character here on Xanadu and also with my character on Harmony. But upon logging into Harmony, uh, I was met with uh, more inconvenience. More specifically, someone had edited my perimeter. Uh, I don't know what the issue is with Harmony. Actually, you know what? I take that back. 
I think I do know what the issue is with Harmony and that sort of thing happening. Although I shouldn't pick specifically on Harmony because those things do happen on all servers. I think that they just happen more frequently on the newer Steam servers. And that's because the diversity of player type has increased. And there's a type of player that was drawn to Worm Online through Steam that perhaps didn't take notice of the game prior to Steam. I think I prefer, prefer Xanadu. As a matter of fact, this is why I kept my property here. Because I wasn't sure in the long run which one I would prefer, that of Xanadu or Harmony. I was leaning towards Harmony because I wanted a fresh start and I always wanted to sort of start all over again, but on a new server. And I did get that experience and I enjoyed it. But I think Xanadu is my home. I feel more comfortable here. And uh, the land is way different here. It's a lot. The, the elevations are more extreme. You get mountains that are so tall, you hit the, uh, the upper limit of the map even, so that they appear flat on the top. I've even showed uh, one of those mountains in a previous RDO video. RDO meaning redeed opportunity. I still want to do some more of those. Uh, but I wanted to take a break from the game. I'm actually back earlier than I wanted to be. Usually when I take a break, it would be at least six months. It's only been a few months. I came back just to get my gifts, but I'm already feeling the pull. That's, that's what this game is. It's hard to leave. And just by popping in just to get the gifts, uh, I'm feeling myself about to get hooked all over again. But I am busy. Th this is, in fact, the first time ever that I've been able to jump in to get the year-end gift because I'm usually very busy around this time of the year, but not this year. And I also made a commitment when I started on Harmony to get my gift this time. Now, I do already have one gift from a previous year, but I didn't earn it myself. By logging in, I bought it, and that's the Snowball Producing Snowman. A, an extremely valuable item in my opinion because it completely saves your food in a larder regardless of what year it is or what the time of the season is. Extremely, maybe the single most valuable um, Christmas gift in the history of Worm Online. I don't know. I could be wrong. And obviously that's just my opinion. Like, that's just your opinion, man. So what did I get? Well, I got the same thing that everybody else got this year, which is the luxurious checkerboard. Let me go ahead and grab this, and I'll set it up for you so you can see. It's pretty cool, actually. Let me see. What? My hotkey. I forgot all my hotkeys, or most of them. Look at that. Isn't that fancy? Let me uh, turn this off. My mic is in my way, so I'm having a hard time seeing the keyboard, actually. A, fancy, a nice, fancy checkerboard. It looks like it has the uh, board made out of slate and marble and with a, um, is it a walnut, I think? Yeah, with a walnut finished, um, what is this, a foundation? No, let's call it a deck. With a walnut deck and a marble and slate board. It's pretty cool. And if you walk up to it, you can right click and then just click play. Yes, it actually functions. It's not just decorative. I'll pick the side that I want. And if you right click, once you're in, it will change your views. It kind of cycles through. It's pretty cool. It might be better if you have uh, the UI move or turned off. And then you can just pick what you want. It even highlights where you can move. It's pretty cool. I'll go there and then I have to sit here and wait for my opponent to move but I don't have an opponent. Actually, let me, oh, how do I leave? I think that worked. There we go, let me see, can I play the black side? Oh, I think I can. Okay, fine, sir, then I will go there. Now what you're gonna do, huh? Oh, oh, this is weird, I can see myself. Whoops, wait. Okay, if you move, it pulls you out of game mode as well. Now let me show you something else that's really cool about this. Yeah, I can go ahead and take this into my inventory and let me 
Let me pull out a little bit here. And then it will remember the uh, positions of the pieces. So I can go back in here and I can place it on the table again. And, oh man, I can't remember my binds. It's been, it's only been a few months and I've already forgot them, but I've been playing a few other games here and there too. So that's my excuse. But look, the pieces remain where they were when I last moved. So that means you could pick this up and travel with it and play, I guess, while you're traveling or at a different location. So that's pretty cool. I really like it a lot, actually. It's, it's a nice decorative piece and it even functions. I, I probably won't actually play checkers with anyone, but who knows? Maybe someone out there will have a, a checkers championship on their deed. And maybe people will come from all over the server to participate with prizes and uh, socialization. I don't know. Maybe. I might do something. I mean, I, I don't think I would want to put on that event, but I might participate just for the fun of it. I don't know how good I am at checkers. I haven't played checkers in about 120 years. That's what it feels like anyway. It feels good to be back on Xanadu, and I'm definitely feeling the pull to return. Let me show you what else I got. My random gift was from, actually, I think it was from last year. And um, where is it? Oh, you know what? I don't think I had room in here. I think I put it in this one. Let me see. Festive bedroll. That's, let me show you what it looks like. It looks just like a bedroll, I think. I do have a bedroll, but I've never... Well, actually, I, I have used it. I use it when I travel around sometimes. I think the festive one has a slightly greater benefit of use than the regular crafted one. By the way, I think you can craft the new checkerboard as well. But I bet you there will be something better about this one that differs from that one because that seems to be the uh, standard that Code Club AB has adopted lately. Every year when they have a new gift, if you don't get it, you can still craft it, but there will be something about it that's not quite as good as the one that uh, you could receive as a gift. I for inventory. Okay, I'm starting to remember. So what's next? I kind of have an idea as to what I want to do next. Whether it's now or later, I'm not sure. When I played on the Harmony server, and I still have that character, it's not going anywhere. I still have my property there too, because I don't know, maybe I'll feel differently in the future and maybe I'll want to go back to Harmony. But. I learned some things on Harmony, especially about starting from scratch. Because you know how it is. Once you've been playing a game for a while, and then when you start anew, you have knowledge that you've retained from playing your first character that you can benefit from, that you couldn't benefit from the first time you created that character and jumped into the game for the first time. So I learned a few things there. Um, I got better at terraforming there than I did here. Uh, even did some surface mining, whereas I've not done any surface mining here at all. I was kind of put off by the idea of doing it, as a matter of fact. But now that I know it's not really that big of a deal, it's given me some time to reconsider some locations that I thought were nice here, but a lot of work. What's that? Is that a seal down there? I thought it was a rat at first. I wonder if there's anything in my mind. Let me check. I need to get back to some meditation. I haven't played at all in the last few months, and now that I think about it, now that I look back, if I had just logged in every once in a while to do some meditation, I'd probably have a much higher meditation skill by now. Oh, look at there. There is a little visitor down here. An aged large rat. He doesn't seem interested in me. Aren't they aggressive? He's red. All right, I'm not going to bother him. He's not bothering me. He can live down here. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot to have some lead down here. 
two irons back there. Here's some gold, some more gold. I have lots of sandstone. Two blocks right next to each other. Some more iron here. And I have some more sandstone down here. Or no, not sandstone. Iron. Oh wait, the sandstone is down here. Right there. But I'm not going to be mining that out. I don't think I'd be able to, as a matter of fact. Due to its location here. That might be problematic. You know what I really like about this mine is the mine entrance itself. Because a lot of mines don't have a, a level entry as this one does. It makes the mine location here just so extremely convenient. Because I've seen deeds in which the mine location is far removed from the deed itself and kind of a pain. I mean, it's not that bad. You can still use a large cart to haul things in and out. But this is just so much more convenient. I also learned uh, that I really like starting fresh on the Harmony server. You know, it was one thing I really did love about the Harmony server is starting over on a new server with lots of other players. That was fun. It was just dealing with some of those players that I didn't find to be so gratifying. But why can't I just do the same thing right here on Xanadu? Xanadu is so large. It's four times larger than the other servers. In some cases, much larger because there are other servers that are much smaller than uh, Harmony, for example. And yet it has only a, a percentage of the population. Actually, what is... What's the population looking like? I think the last time I played on Xanadu, we were looking at like maybe around 120 to 150 people logged in per day at the time. 90 right now. But actually, to be fair, it's the day before Christmas. So there's probably a lot of people visiting family and doing holiday things. And so not necessarily logging into play where I'm online. So that number is probably accurate for the season. You know what, I want to check the stats here. I'm going to Alt-Tab out. You won't be able to see this. Let me see. I can find my old worm online bookmarks. I'm just looking at uh, some stats, server stats. I'm going to look at the Steam charts too so we can compare. And I'll just read off the numbers. Okay, Worm Online Server stats. Let's see. There are 813 people total logged into Worm Online right now. Most popular server in terms of population is Harmony 163. That is a much lower number, though, than it was uh, a few months back. Second most popular server is Xanadu with 91. Bear in mind, Xanadu is four times the size of Harmony. Next up is Independence with 73 players. And um, all of the others... Uh, wait, no, Deliverance has 24. And all of the other is in the teens or lower. 15, 11, 16, 18. So not too many people right now. Of course, it's a holiday. So Har Harmony is still the most popular. Xanadu comes in next. Let me check the Steam charts here. I want to see if Worm Unlimited is dead because there were so many people saying that Worm Online on Steam was going to kill Worm Unlimited. 178 players logged in right now for Worm Unlimited. 30-day gain. It, it, is, it has gone down by an average of 10 players during the last 30 days. Actually, let me check Worm Online through Steam because then we can see how many of those 813 players on Worm Online are here from Steam. Let's see. Okay, here's the number. So, total number of players on Worm Online, 813. And of those, the number of people using the Steam client, do you have any guesses? I'll give you a few seconds to guess to yourself. 
286. I don't know if that number is expected or not, or I, don't, I really don't know what to think of that. But there's definitely some still some people here that the Steam release was able to um, um, retain. But I wonder if some of those guys just went over to the regular client. It's hard to tell. Now, I did mention once before that there are a couple of spots that I've kept my eye on just in case they become available. A couple of spots that have been deeded but untouched for a very long time, in some cases years and years, long before I even arrived. One of them is, is right down the way here. I do like Hammer Lake. I, I, deal, I do feel as if I have sort of a loyalty commitment to Hammer Lake, but I'm certainly not going to let that stop me from settling somewhere outside of Hammer Lake if I found it. There is another spot here on the lake that I would love to have. And if I were to go there today and see that that spot was available, I would probably immediately uh, go premium with my all and claim it. And then see what I could do with it. Perhaps even permanently move there from this deed if I really liked it there. But the fact of the matter is Xanadu is so large. Look at this. There's got to be some nice places here that can be settled. Simply looking at the mere size of it. Now I know lots of these places on the coast are no longer pristine. I don't know if there are any spots along the coast that's still pristine. Meaning no one has ever settled there. But given the number of people that actively play this game, I know there have to be, there has to be a lot of abandoned deeds that no one has deeded over again. There's got to be something in here nice. And there's also uh, a, an off or an out of game map. I wish we could control the zoom level here with the scroll to be more specific. So it's not just either all the way in or all the way out. But that's besides the point. There is a third party map for Xanadu and it's very detailed so I could use that to look around. I think I want to do this. I think I want a fresh start but on Xanadu. My deed is not very large here. It's actually quite small and it's terraced and it's extremely terraced. I've only been able to squeeze in a few spots here and there that I can work with. And the only reason I have all this land down here was because I filled this all in with dirt. Originally, the ground level was to about here, and this is where the water started. And then, and then it, the land was about there and kind of wrapped around there. And I filled all of this in with land, made the docks, and I also filled all of this over here too because I wanted to put trees here to sort of block the dock area so it appears more cozy. The more trees you have, the cozier it feels, in my opinion. I do like how the deed is dynamic. It's not just one giant flat spot. I'm not a fan of that at all. I think it's better to work with the uh, natural elevations. It just looks better. It looks more natural that way. Of course, it would be quite difficult to carve all of this out to make one giant flat spot. That would be way more work than I would be willing to do. I'm going to have to think about this. But I could do a fresh start, maybe for 2021. Fresh start on Xanadu. And uh, I would probably have to dedicate a lot of time to just exploring to see uh, what good spots might be out there. And I know there's gonna be tons of good spots, but you know everyone has their own preferences. So I wanna find a spot that would match my preferences. I definitely like to be near the water, if not specifically on the water. I don't like to be too landlocked. Of course, looking for a spot, um, 
is actually fun because then you I get to do a lot of exploring and I love exploring and you know what this is another difference between Harmony and Xanadu on Xanadu there are a lot of tall mountains like this and sometimes it's not easy to explore you can't just walk through that you have to find a path around or find a road around and even then they don't necessarily go or end up going exactly where you want them to but it makes it feel like exploration here is more genuine whereas on harmony once i just took a walk just to take a walk and before i knew it i was on the other side of the island and it didn't even feel like i had walked that long that's because the island itself is relatively flat with very few obstacles so it wasn't that difficult to do here to traverse the same amount of space that i traversed there would have taken a lot longer. And maybe you hate that. But for me, I love it. Because it uh, lends to more exploration. More things to see and explore. And I love it. Is that something out there? Or is that dust on my monitor? No. Looks like there's something there. Oh, it's moving. Okay, so there's something out there. I don't know why. That's quite a ways out. I don't think cows usually make it that far out before they die. Maybe a horse. Because, hor yeah, it's probably horses out there. I should check it out. Maybe there's a couple of good horses. There's also a lot of recycling opportunities on Xanadu. Although the new servers have been around a while now for... Uh, perhaps there are some recycling opportunities there. I don't know what's going on there in terms of um, active players versus inactive players. Like my deed is still claimed. So even though I'm not playing on Harmony, I still have my land. And I don't know if other people are doing the same thing or if they've let their deeds expire or not. I imagine that there are quite a few expired deeds though on Harmony. I don't really know what I, why I did this video. Oh yeah, just to show you the gifts. By the way, you also get some fireworks. I did not go premium on Harmony to get the gifts there, just here. And as a matter of fact, I think I will go premium with my alt. Maybe I'll get a different random gift than the uh, bedroll. Maybe another snowman. I wouldn't mind that. Then I'll have two checkers. I almost said chessboards. I keep on wanting to say chessboards. Then I'll have two checkerboards, and maybe in the future someone will want to buy one or trade one. Or maybe I'll want both. Who knows? Anyway, I don't really know what, what, I would, what more I wanted to do with this video other than just to do one real quick. Uh, I know there were some people posting comments like, am I going to do any more videos? Yes, I am definitely... Um, but as I mentioned several times in my Harmony series, I am a, um, I'm a variety gamer. I, I don't stick with just one game. Uh, I have played since pausing from Worm Online. I've played a bit of Raft, a bit of RimWorld, and recently I've been playing Axies and Allies Online, which is basically a video game version of the old board game. And I loved the board game back in the day. And I like the, uh, the digital version as well. You can even uh, play in ranked mode against other players. It's pretty fun. I like it. I don't think it's necessarily a video game that I would do uh, recordings for on YouTube, though. Especially with my style of playing a game like that. I take my time and I multitask a lot and I leave the keyboard for a while. That's certainly not going to be good for uh, recording videos. I do still want to do more videos for Worm Online, though. Am I back? I can't say definitively if I am or not, but I'm definitely fulfilling the pull. This game is a lot like the Mafia. Every time you try to get out, they pull you back in. And all it takes is jumping in for a minute to get rekindled. So we'll have to see. If, if not now, then, it will, then I'll definitely be back in a, in a few months from now but possibly now. 
thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.